page, the secret to being successful in the muscle area are three things. You gotta look good. You gotta have Cryptek camo on. There's one. Check it off. You gotta have Swarovski optics. Check that too. Both in your binos on your and your rifle scopes. And what do you think three is? Fierce rifle. Fierce rifle, baby. And then the other thing is, you come into an area like this and just sit in glass, all these bowls, all you can do is smile. You got it. <laughs> Just getting started here. Evening number two, Muscular. Let's go see what else we can find. Welcome to The Fierce Life. I'm your host, John Mobile. Hey, first off, we wanted to give you an update on our new building here for Fierce Firearms in Rosini, USA. As you can see behind me, it's progressing quite well. Um, everything's going along smoothly. We're very excited about our new facility. We're gonna have a, a beautiful showroom where you can, our customers can come, look at rifles or shotguns, pick out the one they want, and then they can take that gun and go out our back door and either shoot sporting clays, or if it's a rifle, they can, they can dial it on, on out all the way to 1,000 yards. We'll have a, a thousand yard range here. So, so we're excited to offer that to our customers, a little more customer service, a little a, a better full experience for them as they're picking out a fierce rifle or a Rosini shotgun. So we should have that up and fully running next year. We're also gonna be teaching some long range shooting schools right here out of our new fierce facility. So, so it's gonna be fantastic. Hey, this week on the show, we are heading to what I feel is the, the best place for hunting big elk in the, in the world, really. And that's the Muscalera Apache Reservation in Southern New Mexico. Uh, a few years back, my son and myself harvested some beautiful bulls. So we're gonna do a little bit of a flashback where I harvest a giant uh, bull over 370 inches. And my son also uh, connects on a beautiful bull. So we're gonna take you there. But also, we just wanna let you know in a few more episodes, we're gonna be on the Muscalera with James Hetfield, lead singer of Metallica, as he experiences the Muscalera madness. So make sure you don't miss one episode of The Fierce Life. Stay with us. Well, this year on the Muscalera, I'm going to be hunting the first hunt, and my guide is James Adams. I've been talking to James a little bit, asking him if he's seen any good bulls, and once in a while he'll send me a text with a picture of a good bull and say, hey, what do you think of this one? But I never know if it's a bull from this year, last year, or 10 years ago. He get, he's always messing with me. When we got there, the night before the hunt started, he showed uh, my son Gage some footage of a big bull and he, was, he told him, don't show your dad. And you know, being a good son, Gage told me that James had a giant bull spotted. So sure enough, uh, we were going after him first morning. He was what they said, a good bull. They were keeping it a secret from me. I hadn't seen pictures or video of this bull, but all I knew is the way James was on a beeline in the direction of this bull, that it must have been a toad. So it was first morning here on the Muscular and James has got us into another one of his little honey holes. You know, it's just typical Muscular. We've got wild horses across from us. We've got elk bugling everywhere. 
we spotted a great gauge is has got a five point tag so um, we've actually spotted two great five points in here and a big old six point um, that we got to get a better look at he's well over a thousand yards away probably 1500 2000 yards away we got to get a little closer but man he looked good long points everywhere good looking bull what do you think of this the place is awesome there's elk everywhere water bugles it's fun <laughs> A little different than where you were hunting last week, huh? Yeah, it's a little, it's nice when you got options. <laughs> so here it is, it's the opening morning of the hunt. We get to the ridge that James wants to be on and sure enough, he spots the bull right off the bat. He's chasing some cows around and he's about two miles away. So we've got our Swarovski spotting scopes out. We're checking him out and he looks good. Um, but it, the every angle we saw, he was either coming down the hill or had his head in the tree. So all I can tell you, he looked like a big bull but we definitely wanted to get closer to get a better look. We're about 600 yards away, and man, we get the spotting scopes out, we take a good look at this bull, and he's what I call a no-brainer. This thing was giant. His tines were long, he was massive. This was a bull of a lifetime for me. This is what I've been coming to the Muscular for years for. So now, if I can just make the shot. So I am just feeding right there, James. James, what do you think? He's gotta be, he's gotta be 370 plus, huh? This segment of The Fierce Life is brought to you by Fierce Firearms. Ferocious performance, deadly accurate. Get him? Yeah, he's double winding. Woo! Run, James! Woo! Gagey boy! What about that bull, huh? That's a big old bull. Woo! Muscalera madness. We've been coming out here for, I've been coming here for 13 years, filming people shoot big bulls, trying to kill big bulls myself. James did some pre scouting, said, I got something to show you. And son of a gun, when we saw this thing, we saw him from like two miles back there and he looked good, but we got here to almost 600 yards and he looked great, man. Fantastic, big bull, huh? Good shooting, yes sir. Big tines, I mean, everything we're looking for, man. Piled him right up, huh? Yes, yeah. Boom! Yeah. Let's go check him out. Man, there he is, look at that thing. How impressive, look at those fronts. Let's just make sure he's done right here. Oh yeah, he's expired, he's done, woo! Look at this bowl. This thing, oh my goodness. Look at the time length on this bowl. <laughs> yeah, get up here. What do you think of this thing? It's a freaking giant, man. That is what we came to the Muscalera for, huh? Well, hey, here we are with this beautiful Muscalera bull. I mean, I've been coming here for, for over 12 years, filming different people, hunting bulls. I have never had the opportunity to shoot a bull like this. Well, I shouldn't say that. I've had the opportunity. We passed up some great bulls last year on the hunt. That's part of hunting. You see some dandy bulls and sometimes you let some walk that you maybe should have pulled the trigger on. This year, we did not let that happen. No, sir. <laughs> yeah, what, good. 7.30, James? 7.30. We had her done. Gage, are you tired? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> We're just getting going. Here on the Muscular, James pre did some preseason scouting, found this beautiful, beautiful bull. He's what, what do you think is exceptional about this bull, James? The front end, his mass, his oh. width. <laughs> I mean, just, just look at him. He's a monster. Look at the seconds on this bull, the thirds, the, the sword. I mean, this is just an impressive bull. He's got some serious mass. This is what we've been coming to the Muscalera for, and, and these bulls are here, um, as you can see right here. Gage, what do you think of the hunt, Bob? I'm ready for my turn. <laughs> you ready for your turn? Gage has got a five-point tag. He can't wait. We saw two great 
five by fives in here, but this big daddy was uh, trumped. He trumped those, didn't he? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> My fierce firearms rifle shooting the CT edge in uh, 300 rum, shooting the Barnes uh, 180 TTSX Swarovski scope. As you saw, the Z6 dialed her up 600 yards, and, and the rest is history. Gave him the old fierce dirt nap, and, and now, man, we're just ready to go back to the lodge. Get some food. Get some food, get some rest, get this bull off the hill, and we'll be back on the mountain hunting for gay. So here it is, baby. We're living, living the fierce life. Stay with us. We got more great action coming at you. This segment of the fierce life is brought to you by Cryptech, Battlefield to Backcountry. Another morning on the Muscalera. As you can hear just from the sound, there are bulls bugling everywhere. Okay, what do you think? See all of them. They're okay, everywhere. They're, in, they're just in a frenzy right now. It's freaking unreal. There's elk okay, everywhere. Have you ever seen anything like this? <laughs> no, listen to it. It's freaking crazy. It's coming through that metal. It's good to get that one down. Oh, dude, that's a big 5x6. Barely Okay, so the secret to being successful on the muscular are three things. You gotta look good. You gotta have Cryptek camo on. There's one. Check it off. You gotta have Swarovski optics. Two. Both in your binos and on your and your rifle scopes. And what do you think three is? A fierce rifle. Fierce rifle, baby. And then the other thing is, you come into an area like this and just sit and glass all these bowls, all you can do is smile. You got it. <laughs> Gage, I think now do you understand why I call it muscular madness? Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. How far away was the for the closest bowl from you? Probably 10, 15 yards. <laughs> James, you got us in the right spot this morning, huh? Yes, sir. Got in the middle of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, we just filled up the highlight reel, the B, the B roll, the A roll, the A plus roll. We got it all right there. We just positioned right here, and they came through that meadow, and they all walked. I think the entire herd walked right by us. And that five by six in there, he was a giant. He had big fronts. What do you think about him, Gage? It's huge, pretty bull. What was good about him? Everything had good mass. A really good mass, fronts were big, just five on the one side, but a little, si no, about six like yeah, that. Six inch, seven inch fifth on one side. So do you think that bull will grow with that fifth point? Do you think it'll ever grow with six? He might. He looked pretty young in the face. He yeah, had a small body. Maybe so, a couple more years, he might push out another point. Push out another point, he could be a freaking 370. So therefore, we didn't shoot him. James didn't give Gage the green light. Would you have been? Like to have shot that uh, bull. I'd have been more than happy <laughs> with that bull. <laughs> well, that's incredible. We just had an entire, I don't even know, 50, 100 elk come by us. And there's still more coming up the hill. We might get stabbed by one of these. Freaking look right here. We've got them still coming. This is just amazing. One thing about the muscular, you will not have a 
a greater experience as far as being in the elk because man they're everywhere out here sure. uh, well that was a heck of a morning i don't know how you top that we may as well go back and eat pizza <laughs> Okay. Sounds good. This segment of The Fierce Life is brought to you by Limb Saver, products that work. We're just getting ready to go out hunting tonight, and James just told us that He's been seeing a giant five point over in this area. We didn't want to tell Gage about it because we didn't want to get him too excited, but we got bull screaming right here where we saw him last. So hopefully old uh, Gage, old G baby, hopefully we can find this bull and he can put the smack down with the fierce firearms. Do the old dirt nap right here. They're going crazy everywhere right here. This bull's bugling all. Yeah, let's see him right there. They're going crazy all through this hillside. Probably should just sit here in class, you know, see what the, see if we can find a big yeah, old fiver for games. See if we take can buy that five by five for you. Take a look and see if he's, if he's a shooter. Yeah. yeah let's just see if we can get a look. There's bulls people right there. But there's some bulls running right there. There's some cows over there on the yeah. side. Let's see those cows over there. Make sure you take a look and see if he's a big five by five. Big, big frame five point. See how big his frame is, Gage? Yeah. Yeah. Heavy too, real heavy. sideways yeah yeah that's him is that him yep that's him okay, just get right here. how far get right here. Dude, right in the front shoulder, I could see the water or dust or whatever blow right off his shoulder. Did you see that? Yes, sir. Yep. Yeah. I don't Good think shot. he's gonna go far, buddy. Good shot, buddy. <laughs> Holy cow, that is a huge <laughs> bull. A bull. That is a huge five by five. James, you had that one rat hold, huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> Gage just smoked a giant five by five bull. When you saw him, what do you think? I just, there's like, there's no way that can be him. He's huge. He's a big bull. <laughs> Big fronts, dark, I mean, dark neck, a big mature old bull that just was a five by five. And James said, that's the one. James knew that bull was in here. And Gage, what were you shooting right there? What rifle? Oh, fierce. 300 round. CT Edge, baby, Barnes Bull, Swarovski Optics. We've been fighting this rain and fog and scope fogging up. And well, I'll tell you what, hopefully it pans off. So we. We just need to go, I, I don't think that bull went far. He hit him right in the front shoulder. Let's go check him out. <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> there he is, baby. <laughs> Holy <laughs> cow. Look at that bull, KG. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, perfect shot, bud. Oh yeah! <laughs> Heck yeah. yeah! Booyah! Holy cow! Whip this guy around right here. Oh, you like that one? Thank you, That's man. Thanks, oh, man. <laughs> well, Gage, here we are, bud, with your uh, five by five. What are you gonna do? I can just stud. This little guy right here. <laughs> He's coming up here. Uh, well, he shot a nice bull in Colorado, what, a few years back? Yeah, it's been two years. With his muzzleloader, and, and this is uh, your second bull elk. Yeah. You're spoiled. <laughs> this <laughs> definitely tops the last one. <laughs> well, congratulations, buddy. Thank you. you I'd like, like to say something, yeah. you know, from my brother and my dad. Oh, yeah. You know, it's, uh, it was a tough year last year, losing my brother. <clears throat> 
but I just want to, you know, thank Josh for being out here. And if it wasn't for his scouting, you know, we wouldn't have found his elk. That's right. You know, and he made a, a friend, you know, very happy. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you he know, did. Just be grateful, you know, that yeah. he can bring you out here. Yeah, exactly. It's great. You know, because you family's know, dad, all that matters, isn't it, bud? Yeah, my dad, you know, and I want to say thank you to my dad for teaching us, making us hunters and sportsmen. And he did good. <laughs> this is what, thank this you is, to this you. This is what hunting's all about, yeah. isn't it? Spending yeah. time with family, being out in the woods, experiencing the outdoors. Mm -hmm. That's what your family is a big time hunting family and a big part of the Muscularia. Your dad was a hunt manager. Your brother Josh is now the assistant hunt manager and you're one of the head guides here along with the staff. Several fantastic, all of the guides here at the Muscular are fantastic, the whole crew. This place is unbelievable. When you come here and you come back, it feels like you're coming home. This place is amazing. The people are fantastic. And James doesn't talk a lot, but uh, <laughs> we got him to open up a little here. And, and that's what hunting in the outdoors does. It brings people together. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yep. Thanks, James. Yeah, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, let's get this bull taken care of and back to the lodge. And, and what can we say? We are living the fierce life. This has been an incredible experience here at the Muscalera, as always. Um, I can't say enough about this place, but we hope you enjoyed the episode this week. Make sure you stay tuned next week because we got more great hunting action coming at you right here on the Fierce Life. Thank you for watching this week's episode of The Fierce Life. Please join us again next week for more exciting action.